I thought it was a really good spring. Um, I, I was really happy with uh, my progression and our progression as an offense and, and uh, for a team. Um, you know, if, if we're looking at, at everybody, I thought defensively they played really well and we got after each other uh, on different days. So uh, I think collectively as a whole, we all got better. Was there an area specifically you were most pleased with your personal <coughs> progression? I think um, the thing that jumps off the page is our third downs and our completion percentage just because that was two goals that we had as an offense going into spring. And uh, we were right at those those goals going into the, today's practice and we achieved well above it uh, today. So we did really well. So I would say third downs and uh, completion percentage. The emergence, of, the emergence of some of the receivers, guys like Taron Houck, Nick Kurtz getting settled in, what did you think about some of those guys and, and the way they stepped up? Yeah, those those guys started to play uh, really well. I thought Taron Hout had a, a extremely good good spring. I would say that he had as good of a spring as, as anybody on our team, and I was really pleased with that. Um, and it, it made us a lot better. We had a really good inside presence there, um, something that we we really wanted to focus on. So I was really pleased with Taron. I trust uh, that guy a lot. So he went up and made a lot of plays. Nick Kurtz. Um, uh, he he emerged. Um, this last practice was his best practice by far, and uh, he played extremely well. Um, and I, I think all things considered, you know, coming in, learning a new scheme, going fast, going hard, all that stuff, um, he, he played really well and, uh, you know, lived up to the hype and the expectation that uh, he came in with. What changes are you seeing on the offensive line opposed to what you saw last year? Um, there, there's uh, some some new personnel, and I would say the biggest presence that's been felt there uh, has been Tooney uh, coming in and playing. He's been a, a really big help there. Uh, but other than that, I think uh, with Tooney and, and Dre taking some senior leadership, I think those guys have they have a different mentality and a different mindset, and uh, they're tough dudes. And um, they 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 came in, they battled day in day out. Um, Kyle Johnson uh, came in and played extremely well, and. Um, I trust those guys, and, and there's a different camaraderie you know, within the old line room and with uh, amongst the other guys on the team as well because we see them working. In the beginning of spring camp, now the fall, as you evaluate, what's been the biggest single improvement collectively for the offense? I would say knowing uh, individual assignments. I think early in spring, we added a few variations and, and various things like that, and from then to now, uh, I would say we began to click on uh, all cylinders. So I would say uh, people took more ownership in their position and, and what they did individually. And uh, we got a lot better because of it. So individually, they, they cared more. And collectively, it made us all better. How do you build off that now, heading into, or, you know, heading into the, you know, the break between now and fall camp? Yeah, a lot of it's going to be on us. Um, you know, I, I'm encouraged, as I mentioned, that a lot of guys, you know, took that upon themselves to learn learn their position, learn uh, fronts, coverages, various things like that. And uh, my anticipation is to continue to improve on each of those. What instructions did the coaches give you now that you guys will be doing just that, be on your own? Uh, they gave us the schedule for the off season. Um, this this off season will be a little bit different. So if they're paying for, and we're going to spring semester, then they can then monitor and mandate uh, workouts and various things like that. So we emphasize that, and um, we'll get together, you know, as a leadership of the team, and, and we'll begin to organize PRPs and stuff. But that's something that um, us as as players will do. That wasn't really focused on. Um, from the coaching staff, but something that will be emphasized and done. You'll obviously have a new backup this year. How do you think uh, Christian Spring went? Uh, Christian Christian played really well this spring, and, and again, um, uh, I would say along with you know Taryn, I think Christian had a really good spring, and, and I don't think it really surprised a lot of people because they knew Christian and, and knew how hard he tried and you know his capabilities, but he just didn't have a lot of uh, reps last year to really show what he could do. So Christian had an extremely good good spring. And um, you know, if, if something came up and, and heaven forbid, you know, I, I went down for some reason, um, you know, I, I would trust that guy playing and, and I, I, I would feel safe to say that the rest of the team would as well.
Was there anything that didn't happen in spring that you would have liked to have seen? Any, anything that, that could have been better, maybe? Um, it, it's hard to say right now. I think uh, I think it was all good. You know, I think you can you can look back at missed assignments. You can look back at good days, bad days. But again, um, I think it was all good because we can learn from the the bad as well as the good and continue to build off of of the good. So. Um, that I was structured really well. You know, the five weeks gave us a better opportunity to be in the film room and learn more in that way. And I thought it was a, a really well ran ran uh, spring ball. Did you feel like you scrimmaged enough? That there was enough actual football playing that you kind of were able to stay sharp in that aspect? Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, I, I can't really speak for everybody. I guess. I mean, regardless, I, I wasn't I wasn't being hit, but um, it doesn't take long to remember what that feels like. Um, come August so that's okay I, I think um, you know maybe for some underclassmen that that first game will, will be big but uh, yeah I again I trust our coaching staff and I think for the most part the guys that hadn't gone live and, and done those things this spring were the guys uh, that were there last year so um, with that being said I, I thought uh, I thought it was managed really well Jason be an alumni day how often did you hear from the 1984 guys? Did you hear it all the time? Uh, you know, I, honestly, I, I haven't really a whole lot. Um, so, I, you know, I've seen some of those guys around, and obviously Coach and I and, and Robbie and, and those guys, and I've had conversations with them individually, you know, about the things that, that they did well um, when they were playing here. But um, the, the, they're classy guys, you know. They're, they don't come in and... and uh, rub it in your face or you know try to flaunt it you know I don't, I don't uh, you know you don't hear any of those things they just want to be a part of the program and want to see it exceed and uh, excel <laughs>